Hey Pisces, Hey Pisces King, I'm tuning in for a reading today. Um, if you would like to book a service or a private reading, the information is in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get started. Six of Wands being the general energy Pisces, you are, you are master manifesting right now and you are very magnetic, very attractive to people and to new opportunities at this time. Six of Wands is also a card of success, uh, being very magnetic, being very high vibrational in the sense where, again, you're attracting new opportunities, new connections, new relationships into your life. The Six of Wands is also about you being on stage. Again, the spotlight is on you and some people may be coming to you for advice at this time, uh, but you're about to achieve a major success. And again, there's this very magnetic energy to you. So what I'm getting here with the Queen of Cups and the Hierophants uh, to the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords in the reverse is that in the past or in the present moment, you've attracted the attention of a lot of people. But with the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords in the reverse, some of the people that you've attracted uh, into your life are not necessarily on the same level or on the same page as you because you're showing up as the Queen of Cups to the Hierophant. Whether you're male or female, this is just your energy Pisces. Um, so the Hierophant talks about being very mature, having that connection with the divine and being aligned with your higher self, being aligned with with God, with uh, the universe and what it is that you want to manifest. You have a very deep sense of self and you have a level of spirituality to you that not a lot of people have and not a lot of people have the connection with the divine as you do. And so you're showing up as Queen of Cups to the Harfont. They're showing up as the Page of Swords to the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So compared to you, their energy is a little bit more immature. Okay, not to say that it's a good thing or a bad thing. It's just not necessarily on the same page as you. The Knight of Swords doesn't necessarily have to be an age thing. Uh, it could be an age gap, but it's just the level of maturity. They're not as mature as you are, whereas the Page of Swords talks about a student, whereas the Harfant is a master. He's a teacher. So Pisces, you're showing up as a master. You're showing up as a teacher, very in tune with your abilities, with your intuition, um, with the water, the Queen of Cups, and again, aligned with the divine, receiving higher guidance. Uh, you have a very strong connection with God, with the universe, with your higher self, and they're showing up more like a student, okay? Page of Swords is student energy. Knight of Swords in the reverse can be a knight, right? In the reverse, it showcases a shadow. So it could be somebody who's, you know, a lot less mature than you are um, when it comes to, you know, being on the same page or having the same goals or, you know, the same wants and needs. And so whoever this person is, Pisces, you've attracted their attention and... When you are on the spotlight, when you are on stage, you don't just attract the people that are aligned with you and the people that you want to have a connection with. You attract everybody else too, like moths to a flame. And so you have the attention of some kind of a knight of swords in the reverse. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't necessarily have to be uh, an air sign. They could just have those strong air placements in their chart or embody that air energy. But... Again, they're a lot less mature. It feels like they're very in and out, uh, maybe even unpredictable and patient because that's part of the Knight of Swords shadow energy. But they want to have some kind of connection with you or they want to be in your energy. They want to be in your vortex. Six of Wands, you've achieved some kind of success and they may be here, you know, not for the right reasons, okay? So it may be something in relation to what you've achieved or it may be that they want to connect to you some way, somehow because again, Harfont, you're showing up as a master. They're showing up as a student. So I'm going to have to clarify to see what else is coming in, Pisces. But again, whether you already know who this person is or you're not aware, you have their attention. And they're trying to study you. They're trying to figure you out. They're trying to learn you. Um, as you can see here, she's kind of uh, doing her research, opening up this book, tr trying to think of ways to come up with a solution, right? They're trying to break the code. They're trying to figure out the puzzle, but you're some kind of a mystery to them. Queen of Cups energy. You're very Neptunian in a sense. And it's not that you're trying to be mysterious is you're naturally mysterious. There's a lot of sides to you, Pisces, but whoever this person is, they're kind of breaking their head, trying to figure you out. They're trying to find a way to connect with you or to be in your energy, to be in your field. For some of you, this may be a person that is coming in from your past. For others of you, it's a new person that you've You've some way, somehow you've attracted their attention because you're in this energy of the six of wands, very magnetic. And again, it's like success surrounds you, Pisces. You are in this very beautiful energy right now, whether you're coming into a major success or you currently have um, achieved major success in your life. 
Six of Wands is also a card of people coming to you for advice, wanting to know more about you, wanting to learn your ways, wanting to seek you out as some kind of a role model. Um, Holy Spirit, can you please clarify this Knight of Swords in the reverse for Pisces? Who is this person? And what are their intentions with Pisces? Tell us a little bit more about this energy. <clears throat> Again, strong Libra coming in, uh, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that sign. And I don't know what it is, okay, but I've noticed this a lot. I don't know why Libra has a thing for Pisces, okay, just the zodiac signs. I've always noticed that fire signs tend to gravitate towards Pisces a lot. And Pisces tends to kind of try to gravitate away from uh, the fire signs, at least in my personal experience, the readings that I've been doing. It's like there is that level of chemistry and, and attraction there where Pisces tends to move away from the fire signs and the fire signs tend to really want to connect with Pisces. But also Libra, that's another sign that I've noticed that tends to really like the Piscean energy. Um, so Fool coming in, Knight of Swords in the reverse to the Fool. <clears throat> Could be an Aries as well. Four of Swords coming in in the Strength. Pisces, whoever this person is, they see you as, they see you as a risk taker, okay? With the Fool coming in. They don't know how you're able to take that leap of faith. Like, they don't know how you're able to risk so much and just trust the unknown. They don't know how it is that you're such a big risk taker. And again, if this is an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, they tend to think things through, okay? They tend to overanalyze and want to find all the facts and the information. As you can see, she's like reading this book. Whereas you, Pisces, you are guided by your intuition. You are guided by your abilities. You are guided by the divine. That is how you move in life. So they're trying to learn you, they're trying to figure you out, they're trying to study you. And again, they see you like a big risk taker, someone who's just able to trust and take those leaps of faith. And they're trying to understand how you do that. How is it that you attain the success? How is it that you win? And how is it that you're able to trust the unknown? Um, because for them, things have to make sense, things have to click. They're very mental, they're very logical, okay, in a sense. Uh, to four swords to strength. <clears throat> Why the four swords, Holy Spirit? Why the Four of Swords? Ten of Swords, Page of Wands, Seven of Swords in the reverse. Pisces, this person knows that you've had to heal from some major, uh, major pain in your life. Uh, betrayal, heartbreak, disappointment. This person knows that you've gone through a lot of uh, endings in the past. And that you've been deceived in some kind of way. You've been lied to or there's been very shady people trying to kind of gain access to you or have access to your energy in some kind of a way um, that are not who they say that they are. Seven of Swords that are deceptive, that have other, um, that have ulterior motives in mind. They're aware that you've had to encounter energies like this and heal from it. But at the same time, the Knight of Swords is showing up in the reverse. So their intentions are not very clear and they may not have your best interest in mind or at heart. They may be thinking about themselves and they may try to figure you out and understand you, but it may be more for a selfish reason, okay? Um, I don't want to speak too soon. I don't want to say too much, but they feel like it's like they're trying to learn you in some kind of a way. They're trying to figure out the mystery that you are. Again, it's not like you're trying to be mysterious. That's just naturally how your energy is. So it's like maybe they think that you're playing too hard to get or like that, you know, you're kind of elusive in a sense. But you're not playing games. You're kind of just doing your thing. You, you may not even notice this person in your energy, Pisces, because you're so focused. So Queen of Cups to the Hierophant to the Six of Wands, you're so focused on your goals. You're so focused on this next phase for yourself, on the victories that are to come. There's a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of um, excitement, okay? Could sometimes feel a little bit like anxiety, but it's truly mostly excitement. Um, and people can feel this energy off of you. It's very magnetic, Pisces. And so whoever this person is, they're trying to crack the code. They're trying to figure you out. They're trying to gain access to your energy. And they know that you have some kind of a wall or some kind of a protection around you because you've had to, four of swords, heal in the past from a ten of swords, painful endings, betrayal, disappointments, uh, page of wands to seven of swords, people that <clears throat> took action towards you or uh, pursued you for the wrong reasons. And in some way, somehow, Seven, seven of Swords in the reverse, they deceived you. So the strength, they know that you're a lot stronger for that, but they may not stand a chance, okay? Because the Knight of Swords feels 
like they they have some hidden intentions or some hidden agendas like their intentions are not very clear and the knight of swords in the reverse can show up as impatience a very flighty kind of energy um again very youthful or young or immature doesn't have to be an age thing just their level of maturity compared to yours they're showing up as a student whereas you're showing up as a teacher as a master um so yeah it's like they have a very good view of you they have a very good perception of you but they may be studying you for the wrong reasons they may want access to you or for the wrong reasons okay i will clarify to see what else is coming in okay so what i'm getting here is they're trying to not set off any red flags okay i don't know why it's coming in that way it's like they know that you've dealt with a lot of people that have lied and deceived deceived you in some way some hateful endings some betrayal that you've successfully healed from and then eight of swords you emerged even stronger from the situation so what used to work or what um what the kinds of lies or the kind of betrayal or the kinds of things that you went through in the past that might have broken you in the past that you might have had to heal that no longer has a hold on you that it's like it doesn't really work on you because you've already overcame that you've already you've already healed the wounds now it's a so yeah it's like they know pisces that the things that have uh kind of gotten to you in the past the things that have worked on you in the past things that broke you or hurt you in the past it's like that's not going to work on you anymore because four of swords you had to heal from those situations you had to heal those wounds but scar tissue is way stronger than just you know the skin itself you know if you haven't if you haven't had an open wound or a scar you know, having that open wound, having to go through the healing process and developing that scar tissue is way stronger than, than, than the skin itself. So it's like they know that you have tough skin. They know that you're very strong and they're trying to not set off any red flags. But whoever they are, Pisces, whether you know them, okay, or whether it's somebody new who's taken interest on you, they're trying to, again, be very careful with you and kind of walk around, you know, in a... It's like they don't want to set off any red flags, okay? And their intentions still feel a little bit unclear with the Knight of Swords in the reverse. But it's very clear that in this scenario, you are the more mature one um, compared to, to their energy. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify the Knight of Swords to see what else comes in. But Knight of Swords is showing up in the reverse. So Knight of Swords, unfocused and scattered energy, impatience, acting too quickly... The need for a logical solution, feeling held back by frustrating circumstances, stalling, being hard-edged, and emotionally unavailable, unpredictable person. Okay, so this person, Pisces, might be unemotionally, emotionally unavailable and very unpredictable. They may also be very flighty and immature, okay? Page of Swords energy. Um, this may also be a person who's all talk and no action. I don't want to say it that way, but the shadow side to the Page of Swords is all talk and no action. So for some of you, you may already know this person. For others of you, you may not because your attention seems to be elsewhere. Queen of Cups to the Hierophant to the Six of Wands. Your attention seems to be on your goals, on your achievements, on your success, and on this next step. So it's like you're not really paying mind. You're not really paying much attention to this energy over here, but this attention is completely focused on you. Holy Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about this Knight of Swords in the reverse? Tell us a little bit more. What do you want Pisces to know this night of in the reverse Holy Spirit? Okay, we have the temperance and we have the wheel of fortune in the reverse. Okay, Pisces, um, this person might be a red flag, okay? Because the wheel of fortune is in the reverse. When the wheel of fortune shows up in the reverse, it talks about going back, okay? It's repeating a cycle, repeating an old lesson, somebody from the past coming back around um, to try again. But the thing is, the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse. So it's saying that it's more so a repetition of a lesson um, or somebody that you've already encountered, or at least you already know this type of a person. So it talks about being careful not to repeat another lesson or not to give somebody a chance that, again, is, is the same person. Like they're it could even be the, the same energy, the same situation in a different person, but it's the same lesson. So Wheel of Fortune in the reverse to the Temperance, two major arcanas. Um, Pisces, this person may be going through a moment in their life where they're having to mature. They're having to balance out their masculine and their feminine energy. They're having to learn how to alchemize situations in their life. 
again, they're showing up as emotionally unavailable and unpredictable and even a little bit flighty um, and impatient, okay? So it's someone who may be a little bit reckless or may act too quickly or may speak before they think about it. Um, but the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse is you've either already dealt with people like this or you've already dealt with this kind of a lesson or this is somebody from your past coming back around. Why the temperance, Holy Spirit? Why the temperance? Please clarify. Okay, Nine of Cups in the reverse. Why the temperance, Holy Spirit? Please clarify. Okay, the devil in the reverse, the queen of wands in the reverse, the lovers in the reverse, and the king of wands in the upright. <clears throat> Pisces, in the past, okay, you may have, okay, so this is what I'm getting. Page of swords can be all talk and no action. This can be somebody who says the right things. Um, they're very good with their words. They're very good with communication. They can really paint a whole, you know, they can paint the picture, they can paint a whole scenario, but when it comes to matching it with actions, they fall short. Um, and again, your energy is a lot more mature and established, Harfa and Queen of uh, Cups, whereas theirs is a lot less mature, okay? I wanna, it's immature, okay? Knight of Swords to the Page of Swords is immature, it's the student, somebody who's still learning their lessons in their life. Um, and they may either consciously or unconsciously be a red flag um, because they're bringing up lessons from the past, the wheel of fortune in the reverse. There are lessons, Pisces, that you already overcame, that you already learned, um, and allowing these this type of person or this specific person into your life may cause some kind of a repetition, uh, you know, of a lesson that you don't really have to go through because the four swords means that you've already learned the lesson and you've healed, and through this transformation, through this healing process, you came out the straight, you came out way stronger, you came out a leader, and there's no need for you to put yourself through the situation or to deal with these energies that, again, are not on the same page and are not gonna be beneficial to you. And Knight of Swords in the reverse, they don't have the best intentions in mind. Um, I still don't know why they're, <laughs> I still don't know why they're in your energy, uh, but they, it is showing up that they've taken interest in you. And Page of Swords, they're studying you, they're trying to learn, they're trying to learn you. So temperance to the nine of cups in the reverse, to the devil in the reverse, lovers in the reverse, and queen of wands in the reverse. And then king of wands in the upright. Pisces, in the past, you've dealt with people like this. Um, that again, it's like they say the right things. Um, but again, when it comes to the action, it does not match. Nine of cups in the reverse. In the past, you might have thought that this person or this kind of situation, this type of person might have been a wish fulfillment. But when it really came down to it, the devil in the reverse, they were some kind of a toxic person. Um, they either had addictions, they were negative, low vibrational. Um, they, you were either in a toxic relationship or in a toxic environment that was very hard to get out of. As you can see here, that devil comes with ties. Um, and the devil doesn't necessarily have to be something really scary. It could be bad habits, addictions, um, being very materialistic, being lustful. Um, you've had to deal with people that painted a picture and said to be somebody who they were really not. Um, and it's like they say the right things, but when it comes to the actions, it does not match. You've dealt with situations like this in the past that you thought were a wish fulfillment and it wasn't. And then you had to get yourself out of these toxic situations um, or out of these toxic energies. Whoever this person is, Pisces, they've grown some kind of obsession over you. Because the devil can be a very obsessive energy, like they overthink things. Um, they they want to have something, and it's not coming from a place of, it's not coming from a healthy place. It's coming from a place of needing and wanting, um, from a place of lust. And yeah, it, it's a, it's a toxic energy. To the lovers in the reverse, there's a need to make a decision. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Okay, why? Why is the Queen of Wands in the reverse, Holy Spirit? Because we have both the King and the Queen of Wands, power couple. Why is the King of Wands in the reverse? Three of Wands in the reverse, Six of Cups in the reverse, Four of Pentacles in the upright. Pisces, some of you, okay, when you enter these connections, okay, whether it's a friendship, a relationship, some kind of a business collaboration, or you allow the wrong kinds of people into your environment, 
It's like they start to take from your energy. You start to feel exhausted or drained. Um, yeah, it's like you start to get tired and you don't. You may not even know why, but in the process of being in a connection with this person or with these kinds of people, it's like you start to lose yourself. You start to lose your confidence. You start to lose your sense of self. Um, and that's why the Queen of Wands is in the reverse. It's like that confidence, that power. It's like you, you stand stronger alone than connected to this kind of a person because it feels like vampiric energy with the devil. Yeah, Pisces, th this kind of a person or these kinds of people may drain you. Like they may literally feed on your energy. Six of Cups in the reverse. It doesn't matter what kind of emotional connection you may have to them. It's like it starts to drain your energy. It starts to delay um, your manifestations because it's pulling on your energy. So instead of having all your energy focused on your manifestations, on your goals, it starts to, it starts to get scattered. It starts to get um, divided in some kind of a way. So to you, Pisces, what I'm getting here is that it's been a very big lesson to not be available to the wrong kinds of people. Okay, to not keep people around just to keep people around or not to hurt somebody's feelings because it tends to kind of get in the way of your own energy and your own manifestations. And that could create delays in your manifestation process. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, it's like kind of like losing yourself in the relationship or losing yourself within a person. Um, the devil, okay, there's more toxicity, there's more push and pull than it's not, it's not a healthy connection, it's not a healthy relationship. Pisces, somebody may be fixated on you, okay? Knight of Swords is also the stalker energy. Um, but yeah, somebody's taken interest on you. If this is a new person, it's like they remind you of an old person that you've already known because the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse. It talks about something repeating. So Queen of Wands in the reverse, the Four of Pentacles. Um, whoever this person is, Pisces, they've been holding on to you or an old version of you. They may not want to let you go. And you may still feel them in your energy. But again, it's like currently you're not giving it your time. You're not giving it your attention. But they are very fixated on you. And maybe even some of them, double in the reverse, obsessed. They like your energy. They like your vibe. But they're not showing, okay, they're not showing up the right way. They're showing up more as somebody who would take. Somebody who just kind of wants to like crack the code and, and take what they can find and leave. Um, it doesn't feel like someone who's here to stick around, okay? Because you're showing up as a master, they're showing up as a student. Someone who wants to learn something from you, but it's not coming in correct. I, I don't know how else to explain it. Yeah, it just, it feels like they're studying you. They're some way, somehow, some of them may have that stalker vibe with the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Some of them may be fixated on you, but for you, you've encountered people like this in your past and it doesn't like, it doesn't really phase you. You're not attracted to that kind of a person. You don't really give it the time of day, the strength coming in. You have tough skin because you've had to heal from situations that again, they appear to be a nine of cups. They appear to be a wish fulfillment, said all the right things, but we're never able to match it with action. And so it's like, you've learned this lesson too many times to go through it again. So I don't even know how, I feel like whoever this person is, Pisces is like taking over your reading. I don't know who this is or what this is about. Okay, Holy Spirit, why the King of Wands? Why the King of Wands? What does this have to do with Pisces? Nine of Swords, the Tower. Okay, we have Nine of Swords, the Tower, the Moon in the reverse, the Three of Pentacles in the upright. Four of Pentacles again. I think, no, we, I think we already had the Four of Pentacles there. Okay, Seven of Pentacles in the upright. So, Pisces. Okay, so this is very clear. <laughs> there may be a need to really just do what it is that you feel most aligned to do without taking consideration. Um, I mean, I don't want to say it that way because it may come out, it may come out wrong. But it's like in the past, Pisces, whether you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings or you don't want to, um, it's like maybe you play it too small in the past, right? Because you're showing up on a whole another level of maturity here, whereas they're showing up as a student or a little bit, again, immature or, you know, less mature. Um, and there's a need to Queen of Wands in the reverse to not play it small, to not play it small, to not hold yourself back 
because you're meant to be on another level. You guys are not on the same page. You guys are not on the same level. It's like you've already learned these lessons. So to you, they're not very beneficial. So it's not beneficial for you to be connected to this person or it's not beneficial for you to stay in this level because if not, you will literally be repeating you know, a lesson, repeating a grade. There's no need for you to repeat something that you've already learned. So with King of Wands, it talks about just like blazing straight through, taking action, taking power, taking control, being unapologetic and not thinking too much outside of yourself. You know, Pisces, you tend to be very sensitive to other people's needs and other people's wants. And with the King of Wands, this is all about taking action, taking power, taking control, doing what you have to do. And I don't want to say it because it's going to come out wrong or it's going to sound wrong, but it's like not taking other people into account. Okay, because right now you're you're well on your way to a major victory. And this is what's making you so attractive that you have that goal in mind. You're going tunnel vision. You're achieving the things that you want to achieve and you feel better with yourself. It's when you put other people before your own needs and that gets in the way of your goals that you either feel like you betrayed yourself or you let yourself down. And so what it's saying here, Pisces, is you either outgrown a person or you outgrew a situation and there's no need for you to stick around and repeat a lesson. Um, I don't know if that's coming out correct, but there's something here, Pisces, that, you know, it's like, do not let yourself get carried away by something that may look the part, something that may sound the part, but may not be it. Because the Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment. This person is not a wish fulfillment, okay? They may think that you are a wish fulfillment, um, but their intentions are not, um, they're not of integrity, okay? They're showing up a little shady with the Knight of Swords in the reverse, stalker vibes, um, and the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. That's the big red flag, okay? That talks about going back around through a lesson that you've already learned. And in the past, Nine of Swords to the Tower to the Moon in the reverse, um, and then we have the Three of Pentacles. So in the past, Pisces, you went through situations that, again, caused you a lot of stress, that took away your peace of mind, that might have kept you up at night, uh, might have taken your, your peace away, might have given you more stress, more PTSD. And it's like you don't need to repeat a lesson like that. Um, you've been through a lot of tower moments in the past, whereas you thought that a person was a certain kind of way, you know, and it's like they presented themselves to be some kind of a way that they weren't. And that was some kind of tower moment to you. It kind of shook you. It kind of, um, you know, it brought a really big realization or it felt like the rug was pulled from underneath your feet. And at this time, Pisces, you're well on your way to, it's like you have a lot of speed. You have a lot of momentum towards these victories and there's nothing between you and your goals. And so there's, there's something here about being careful not to repeat old lessons um, because it's like you've cut ties with people in situations like this. So it kind of feels like a test to be honest, Pisces. It really does. The moon in the reverse, having to navigate the unknown, being with a person that kind of has you guessing, you know, it's like you shouldn't be going through this. And this and this is what can come into your life if you allow this kind of a person uh, access to you or access to your life. Pisces, it feels like you're very familiar with this energy. Okay, like you've gone through this too many times. You're not going to you're not going to put yourself through that. Again, the moon talks about navigating the unknown. There's so much confusion, so much that you don't know, having to guess, having to figure it out. Uh, you know, tower moments, nine of swords, sleepless nights. It's like you you need to choose yourself, Pisces. You need to choose your peace of mind and your own goals. And you can't let anybody get in the way of that um, because whoever this person is, they don't have good intentions. Okay, it's coming in a little bit shady. As someone that wants to learn everything about you so that they can say the right thing and do the right thing. Um, as someone that, again, wants to do their research. They want to do their homework before they approach you. But that wheel of fortune in the reverse, that's the red flag, okay? That's a major red flag right there. So king of wands, again, don't be, be unapologetic. Go for your goals. This is the time to put yourself first. And again, if people call you selfish, Pisces, it is okay. It is okay because you are balanced by the Queen of Cups. You know that you're truly not. You know that you have a big heart and that you love to help. But right now, it's a time to help yourself. And King of Wands talks about not thinking so much outside of you, thinking about you, thinking about your goals, and having the courage to take the action because things are going to work out for you. Those investments, Seven of Pentacles, are going to bring forth the returns that you are seeking. But there's a need to stay on track. There's a need to keep on the path and to not allow any kind of distraction 
or any kind of wild card to come in here and um, destabilize or to put you back through another lesson. Pisces, I don't know. I don't like that energy, okay? I really don't like it. That Knight of Swords, whoever that is, again, strong air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, doesn't necessarily have to be that sign. They could just embody that energy. So let's see here. Um, I'm going to move on to your side, and I'm going to see what else is coming in for you, Pisces. Holy Spirit, Queen of Cups to the Hierophant. What do you want Pisces to know about this Queen of Cups energy? Please clarify. So we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. We have the Three of Cups in the reverse. We have the Nine of Swords again, Pisces. You're now getting to these milestones um, and there's a lot of success around you. Some of you are coming into a major success. And so there's a need not to repeat these lessons. There's a need not to let these kinds of people or situations back into your life because they take away your peace of mind. Um, and King of Wands in the upright, there's a need to be selfish with your energy, selfish with your time and your resources and to really use this energy towards your own goals. Okay, King of Wands, to Six of Wands. There's a need to really take that energy and instead of giving it to somebody else, it's like invest all of that to yourself because the lion coming in here, there needs to be courage when it comes to taking these actions um, and not be, not be, I don't want to say it this way because it sounds kind of messed up, but it's like not be so considerate of other people that would not be considerate of you, if that makes sense. It's like you would do things for people that they would not do for you. So it's a time to play for your own team. It's a time to bet on yourself to get yourself to where you want to be and not wait on anybody, not try to help everybody in the process. Because some of these people, again, they took your kindness for weakness. Um, and again, King of Wands in the reverse, emotionally manipulative. Queen of Wands in the reverse, you had to regain your confidence. You had to regain your sense of self after the situation happened. Two of Swords, some of you felt like you were at a crossroads. Uh, you were confused as to why they did that or why that happened. And again, it's like there's no need for you to go through that. Okay, so there's just a need to have that discernment of who you can allow into your life and who you won't. And sometimes you really don't know. Sometimes you really don't know. It's like you don't see the red flags until it's too late. Um, but that's why the king of wands is showing up in the upright. Because he is the person that places himself first, you know. Uh, some people can call him a little bit like soft-centered. Um, but there's a need, Pisces, to really immerse yourself in the energy of the king of wands. So that you can attain your objectives. Because you're so close and there's a lot of energies around you that are wanting to get access to you, that they're wanting to come into your vortex and possibly for the wrong reasons. And so you can't let those lessons repeat in your life again because you're so close to a major victory. So King of Wands, again, this is a very entrepreneurial energy. So some of you may be feeling the need to start something, maybe a new business venture. Um, so King of Wands coming in, an entrepreneurial spirit, a natural born leader, ideas that can be ultra successful, a creative visionary, timelessness, success, and fire. This fiery guy, he's charismatic, a natural born leader whose vitality emanates through his laughter and his obsession for a life well lived. As you dance into this energy, you may feel a surge of uh, entrepreneurial passion that pushes you to the edges of epic success. This card of masterpieces and soul inspiration the King of Wands calls you to unleash the offbeat weirdo that you've got inside and be absolutely unapologetic in your pursuit of the stellar. Again, be unapologetic. It's not a time to be considerate of everybody else, Pisces, because again, they wouldn't do that for you. And you've had to face some setbacks because of the kinds of people that you kept around you. Um, that again, three of cups in the reverse. It's like you weren't expecting things to turn out the way that they did. 
and you just don't know you know if when a, you can't control how a person's gonna act so the best bet Pisces is to bet on yourself and to channel all of your energy towards your success um, and again it's like you've attracted the attention of a lot of people but not all of these people have you know your best interest in mind or at heart um, the six of wands again it's like you are on stage the spotlight is on you so you are attracting a lot of attention but it's like moths to a flame you just have to keep yourself centered on your goals and again not divert your energy or divide your energy or kind of overextend yourself because you may get caught up in this energy of nine of swords to eight of swords in the reverse losing your peace of mind when there is no need for that again the world in the reverse is saying that there's some unfinished business there's a reason why this cycle has repeated in your life and it may be pisces that it's like you need to learn when to how to place those boundaries within yourself you know, if you are too caring, if you do care too much, if you love on a whole nother level, if you have that level of kindness, don't let people use that against you. Okay, King of Cups in the reverse is all about emotional manipulation. So with the King of Wands in the upright, that's how you counterbalance that energy. So uh, so where were we? So the King of Wands calls you to unleash that offbeat weirdo. Uh, be absolutely unapologetic in your pursuit of the stellar. Ground your vision through wildly noble expression of big ideas. And if you find yourself getting tripped up by the minute of every day, recruit help and map out the bigger picture. Holler passionately, invite others to see what you see. The shadow side of this energy is that you may not perceive your own blind spots because of an overzealous ambition. Keep arrogance and unrealistic expectations at bay and work out the kinks before charging ahead with your intensely vibrant heart. Passionate and heart filled, we build this empire of light together. Pisces, so it's like the queen of wands uh, sorry, the Queen of Cups and the King of Wands are balancing you out very beautifully. It's like you are in touch with your, you are in touch with your intuitions. You're in, you're in touch with your abilities uh, and with your intuition about your path and the direction that you should take. But you also have the King of Wands to balance you out because Queen of Cups uh, can be very loving, very kind, very generous, whereas King of Wands can be more self-centered. So it's the perfect balance between your feminine and your masculine to attain some kind of a victory here. And then Queen of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, it's like some of you recovered from a situation that left you feeling a little bit, again, it's like you lost your peace of mind in this in this situation. Like you felt like you were manipulated or they kind of took advantage of you in some kind of a way. Two of Swords coming in. Whatever the situation was, it kind of brought some confusion because you didn't understand why they did that. And there was no closure, right? So whenever you don't have closure in a situation, it's either that you didn't learn the lesson or you didn't find a way to kind of bring an ending or a conclusion or a closing to the situation that if it comes up again and you're not aware or you're not conscious, you could very well play into that cycle again. And that's kind of what this energy is bringing in. Knight of Swords is showing up in the reverse. Emotionally unavailable, unpredictable, flighty, questionable intentions, stalker vibes. Uh, I don't know who this person is for you, Pisces, but they have taken interest on you and it's because you have a lot of momentum going for you you have a lot of energy going in the right direction and success is attractive pisces so you have a very magnetic vibe about you so you have to just be very careful with who's approaching you and why what are their intentions don't try to overextend yourself right now don't try to be super friendly um, because there's a major goal here that you are to achieve for yourself so it's a time to bet on yourself and play for your own team and yes, it's okay to be a little self-centered and a little bit selfish to counterbalance how giving you tend to be, how much you tend to care. Holy Spirit. What is it that Pisces needs to know about the situation? Okay, Six of Cups in the reverse. What is it that Pisces needs to know about the situation, Holy Spirit? Is there anything else that Pisces needs to know? <clears throat> okay, three of swords, six of cups. Hangman in the reverse, your energy, Pisces, ace of pentacles in the reverse, the four of pentacles. Pisces, okay, exactly. See how I was saying about, you know, being unapologetic, being selfish, uh, maybe even a little bit self-centered. The hangman in the reverse talks about you self-sacrificing, okay? Sacrificing yourself for other people, putting other people's needs before your own. And in that process, three of swords, betraying yourself. Because again, this is something that keeps coming up with Pisces, but Pisces thinks that 
if they do if they do that for another person it's like it's not that you expect it to come back but it's like you you care so much and you love so hard that you know to you it's it's no question you would do that for a friend you would do that for a family member you would do that for a person that you care about but a lot of people don't return that a lot of people are not like you they don't have your heart pisces so the hangman in the reverse talks about you self-sabotaging by repeating a behavior where it's like you put other people before yourself and that's that's how you end up in this heartbreak that's how you end up in this disappointment it's like you break your own heart in a sense um because they wouldn't do that for you ace of pentacles in the reverse talks about a false start six of cups in the reverse an emotional connection they can't let go of you okay they will not let go of you but that doesn't mean that they're willing to change just because they come back into your life or they give you attention or they want to be in your life doesn't mean that they want the best for you and doesn't mean that they are beneficial to you or to your growth just because they don't want to let go of you doesn't mean that they okay and here's the thing um some people will claim that they love you but it's like they their actions don't show that like their actions will be completely the opposite of what you would do to somebody that you love if that makes sense so um so just be very careful with people that again it's like they pursue you or they keep coming back into your life or they love bomb you um or they say all the right things um or they kind of want to stay around okay it's like you're not here to fix broken people okay it's not a charity kind of situation because the fourth pentacles talks about them not being able to let you go because there's still an emotional connection but for you, it's more painful to be connected to them. It's more painful to stay in these kinds of situations. And Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, it's a false start. Nothing grew, nothing came from this. But heartbreak. Oh, wow, okay, I feel like this message just went somewhere else. But it's explaining something that you've already been through in the past. Um, and it may be some kind of dynamic that you need to be aware and conscious of. Because this person may be very... Okay, this is either the same person or a person that's just like that. Okay, I'm getting strong air sign. It doesn't necessarily have to be an air sign. Um, but yeah, it's like you've repeated the cycle before. Hangman in the reverse to the three of swords. You've placed other people before you, people that wouldn't do what you would do for them. And that's, that's ended up in some kind of heartbreak, in a disappointment, in a betrayal. Pisces, what I'm getting here is that you need to learn how to protect your heart. You really need to learn how to protect your heart. It's like you tend to care too much or you tend to love so hard. And you may be the one that breaks your heart. You know, it may not even be these people. Someone's still holding on to you, Pisces. Someone's still holding on to you, to the idea of you, to something that didn't work out in the past. But it's like if you were to try again, if you were to give them another chance, it would end up the same. Okay? Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, Knight of Swords in the reverse, Six of Cups in the reverse, Four of Pentacles. They can't let go of you, but they're, they haven't changed. They're not any better. Like if you would try again, it would be the same thing. Why the Three of Swords, Holy Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about the Three of Swords energy? Seven of Swords and the Fool. Pisces, in the past, you took a leap of faith on something or on someone, and it ended up in a heartbreak. It ended up in some kind of disappointment. There was lies, there was deceit um, with the seven of swords in the reverse. Lying to yourself or to others, a need for perspective and honesty, secrets, something stolen. Taking more than your fair share, being held back by imposter syndrome, deception or betrayal, taking only what's needed, the universe bearing witness to true intentions, getting away with something, being strategic, being grateful for the resources you have, moving silently and quickly. Huh. Pisces, yeah. And in the past, whoever this was, it's like they lied, they deceived, and you had taken a leap of faith. You took a leap of faith on this person, on the situation. And yeah, it's, it, it led to a heartbreak. It led to a disappointment. I don't know how this connects to the Six of Wands because you're coming into a major victory and it may be that you're being tested again. It may be that another person tries to approach you with the same energy. It may be that the same lesson comes up and Spirit is really testing you to see, are you going to put yourself first? 
Are you going to honor yourself? Are you going to protect your heart? So, yeah, it says here, traditionally, this card warns us that we must be on the lookout for deception, thievery, and betrayal. While we can sometimes find ourselves the victim of someone else's deceit, it also is a nudge to act in alignment with our own highest morality. Be sure you are being honest with yourself about the nature of your reality right now. Sometimes we pretend that everything is okay or that we are doing our best when we are really not. Um, sometimes this shows up as recklessness or an avoidance of responsibilities. Take only what's needed and remember that no excuse outweighs your ability to act from a place of love and integrity. You cannot deceive your own heart and the universe will always bear witness to your, to your truest intentions. For you alone and vulnerable under the light of the moon, the only thing that matters is the truth. Move forward with lightness of conscience to guide you. I act from a place of love and morality and the universe witnesses my honest intentions. Okay, Pisces, I don't want to say that this is a warning, okay, but it feels like some of you may be tested. You may be tested, like situations or lessons from the past may come up that you already learned. Um, and it's like you're so close to a major success that whatever this is, it's like it may, it may come up as some kind of a test, some kind of temptation where you've already, you've already learned this lesson, you've already went through this. So there's a need to kind of not go backwards or not, not divert, not stray away from the path. I don't know. I don't like the feeling of this energy, the Seven of Swords. Holy Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about the Seven of Swords? Please clarify. Tell us a little bit more about this energy. What exactly do you want Pisces to know about this? Page of Wands in the reverse, King of Cups in the upright, Knight, Queen of Swords in the upright. Okay, Pisces, so there's a need to, okay, so for some of you, there may be a little bit of, it's like you may want to act, you may want to do something without thinking about it, in a sense. And Page of Wands in the reverse is saying, hang on, don't take that, like, it's not saying don't take that action, but hang on, before you take that action, bring in your emotional maturity, bring in your emotional intelligence. So that you don't rush into something or so that you don't do something that might end up being another lesson. That might end up breaking your heart in some kind of a way. Queen of Swords, be honest and true with yourself. This may not even be about the other person. This may be about yourself. The fact that you've already gone through this lesson or you've already encountered energies like this. And you're emotionally mature. You're emotionally intelligent because you've already overcome this before. So there's a need to not act without thinking. Because this can also talk about being naive and just taking a chance, just believing, kind of like wearing the rose colored glasses, you know, um, and acting too fast or acting too soon, whereas it ends up breaking your heart or it ends up in a three of swords. It feels like a test, Pisces. I don't want to say that it's a test, but it feels like a test because you're so close to the six of wands. You're so close to a major victory that some things from your past may be coming up or lessons that you've already overcome, lessons that you've already learned. And the page of wands can also be this like very youthful spark of like, you know, kind of just take like doing something before you think about it or being a little bit reckless. Um, and so you're being advised against that. You're being advised to use your emotional intelligence, use your emotional maturity, your honest, your honesty, your truth within yourself to protect your heart from situations that could potentially, again, lead to a heartbreak, lead, lead to a disappointment, lead to a betrayal, lead to some kind of deception could also talk about like not deceiving yourself, like knowing that something is not okay, knowing that something's not right, and you know, doing whatever it takes to make it right for yourself and not taking other people into consideration, okay? I don't know why that keeps coming up. It's like, if you would consider them, they wouldn't consider you the same way. So it's like a need to put yourself first and to be mature enough and honest enough to protect your heart, to protect your well-being. It's like, yeah, the fool can be naive, okay? The fool can be naive, but the king of cups and the queen of swords are masters. You're a master of your emotions. You're emotionally intelligent. You're emotionally mature. You're a master of your communication, of your intelligence, of your logic. In the past, Pisces, you may have not known better. 
okay? You may have also been repeated in an unconscious cycle or you may have attracted a lot of people that served you the same lesson. Wow, I feel like this reading just took a turn to, like, it's like it becoming something else. But it feels like this, this is important, Pisces, so that you don't repeat a lesson. So that you can attain this victory, whatever this victory is for you. Holy Spirit, any final advice for Pisces when it comes to the situation? What do you want Pisces to know? Nine of Swords, again. Ace of Wands, okay? We have the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. Oh, Pisces, this is a protection card, okay? This talks about protecting yourself, protecting your energy, Oh my God, I'm getting goosebumps again, Pisces. I feel like you're about to be tested. And some of you, okay, maybe out of frustration, maybe out of like wanting to believe something, okay? I don't know. It's like maybe sometimes you might have acted too quick or you may have been naive to the point where you got yourself caught up in a situation or you may have given somebody else the benefit of the doubt. You may have seen things through rose-colored glasses and it's like it's time to really not put yourself through that because you're no longer the fool, you're no longer naive. King of Cups to the Queen of Swords, you're a master. You've encountered people like this. You've encountered situations like this. You've learned the lesson. And now that you're so close to your success, you may be tested. Nine of Swords, Ace of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten of Cups, the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you may be tested, Pisces. Um, the wrong kinds of people may be attracted to you as well. Okay, because the six of wands talks about having the spotlight on you, being on stage, having that success. And success, Pisces, is an attractive energy. Okay, you are magnetizing, but you need to know that not everybody that's attracted to you is coming to you for the right reasons. Okay, so just keep that in mind because you go six of wands, attaining the success, attaining the victory, to seven of wands, protecting yourself and protecting your victory, protecting your energy. Okay, as you can see, all these wands, this is the haters card. And it talks about a lot of people wanting to have access to you, access to your energy, and not that not being beneficial to you, okay? If you give these people access to you and access to your energy, nine of swords, you may go through another cycle of stress, anxiety, nightmares, sleepless nights, uh, PTSD. The nine of swords is a very restless kind of energy. And it happens because of things, again, people around you, the environment around you, um, they take your, your peace away. And so there's a need to protect your peace. There's a need to protect yourself. Because again, you are magnetizing, you are attractive, but not everybody that comes in has your best interests in mind or at heart. And the Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, you are being gifted a brand new opportunity, Pisces. And you may be magnetizing not only opportunities, but a lot of people to you. And so it's a time, Pisces, to not just use your intuition when it comes to people, not just use your discernment, but use your past experiences and your knowledge um, to truly, again, uh, I don't want to say cut people off, but it's like see the red flags on time, okay? Not when it's a little bit too late. See the red flags and not make decisions based on your emotions. That's been coming up a lot lately for you, Pisces. Not make decisions based on your emotions um, or your feelings, okay? It's like putting that aside. Because there's something here, Pisces, it's not just about protecting your heart and protecting yourself. It's about protecting your success and your victory. Because think about it. What does a heartbreak, a disappointment, a betrayal do to you? It kind of pulls on your energy to where you can't focus on your goals and your dreams and your ambitions. So I don't know, Pisces. I feel like there's something really important here because you're coming into more success. And you will be attracting more people. And you have a brand new beginning. So nine of wands coming up, Pisces. This talks about having strong boundaries and defenses. Seven of wands, okay? Nine of wands, seven of wands. This is all about protection. This is all about um, protecting yourself, defending yourself, having strong boundaries, not letting people cross your boundaries. The nine of wands is also a warrior, okay? Calling the warrior within you. It feels like there's something here, Pisces, that you may need to protect, okay? Could be a new project, could be a new investment, could be yourself, your energy, your, your peace of mind. Whatever it is, you're being granted an Ace of Wands, a brand new beginning. Spirit is saying Seven of Wands, protect yourself and protect your energy. Nine of Wands, call in the inner warrior, 
okay? There's also a need to not give up because you're very close to your outcome. Ten of Cups coming up again. Um, there's some kind of emotional fulfillment that you're about to achieve because the achievement, the success is the Six of Wands, but that comes paired with emotional fulfillment. Ten of Cups is also fulfillment and success in relationships for some of you. Yeah, I don't know what this is, Pisces. What is the Ace of Wands for Pisces? And I'm going to wrap this reading up because we're already at an hour. Holy Spirit, what is this Ace of Wands for Pisces? Devil in the reverse. Okay. The Empress in the upright and the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Pisces, again, this, this new beginning you're getting because you defeated this energy. Whatever toxic energy or toxic situation was pulling on you or making you feel like you were trapped or hopeless or helpless, okay, you've already overcome that. And you're coming into the Empress. You're coming into a major dream, a major manifestation. And it's like, you may be tested, okay? You may be tested not to let these kinds of situations or these kinds of people back into your energy because you're well on your way to a major success. Okay, I, I want to clarify some more, but I don't, I don't want to because it's going to get more specific and this is a general energy, a general reading. So if you would like a personal Pisces, the information is in the description box below. But let's go ahead and wrap this up with some advice coming in. So we're going to use the Oracle and... Seven of Wands. Okay, so I want to touch base on the Seven of Wands and the Nine of Wands because that protection energy keeps coming up. Okay, I feel like this is one of the most important messages coming in for you, Pisces, to protect your peace of mind, to protect your time, your resources, your energy. Yeah, Seven of Wands and both the Nine of Wands. These are both about protection and boundaries. So I feel like this is really important for you. So Nine of Wands coming in and then Seven of Wands. Challenge, grounding and protecting yourself, movement and growth, creativity, innovation, remaining ahead, feeling vulnerable, a sign to continue to share your ideas, self-expression. Haters, they'll emerge only after you've made it onto your perch, whipping their wands about and asking you to defend your accomplishments. Sometimes competition emerges as a result of shining brightly in the world. Exactly, Pisces, that's what's coming in. The reason they may be attracted to you and the reason they may be coming into your life may not be what you think, okay? It may be for the wrong reasons. Yeah, it's like this energy Pisces, they have questionable intentions, okay? So I wouldn't give anybody the benefit of the doubt, okay? If I were you, because both of these energies, which is spirit's advice, is both about protecting yourself and protecting your boundaries. Um, so yeah, it's competition emerges as a result of shining brightly in the world. If you're feeling attacked after sharing your magic, it is important to remember that others likely want what you have. So stand up bravely and continue to do your beautiful thing. Mindfully call feelings of love and well-being into your body and create a protective bubble of energy around you. Remain synchronized and aligned with your bright vision and reject any low vibe negative states that others may be pushing. Um, you don't have to accept their opinion as truth, especially when they are vying for your position. Seven of Swords, Pisces. You have some haters, Pisces. You have some jealous, envious energies around you. Um, and again, it's not it's not for you to be you know worried or concerned. It's just for you to... Take the lessons that you've learned and apply them into your life. Again, you're no longer the fool. You're no longer naive. You're no longer giving people the benefit of the doubt. Um, King of Cups to Queen of Swords. You've matured. You're a master. So if before Pisces, you used to kind of give people the benefit of the doubt and kind of trust them until they did something to betray your trust, it's like now you've taken a different approach. Queen of Swords to King of Cups. Now they have to earn your trust in order for you to trust them. You're not letting people into your, into your circle, into your life, you know, just just like that, um, so easily. And it needs to be this way, Pisces, because the Seven of Swords is a very deceptive energy. Whereas, again, you may not think that way, but they do, okay? This is the energy of being a taker. Nine of Swords, taking your peace of mind away. Okay, the world is not always fair, Pisces. Even though you are, it's like some people may not be, and you just need to be aware of those people. You need to learn how to handle them. You need to learn how to, you know, establish those boundaries and keep those people away from your life um, so that they don't get in the way of you and your goals. So, yeah, reject any low vibe uh, negative states that others may be pushing on you. You don't have to accept their opinion as truth, especially when they are vying for your position. Check to make sure that you're acting in a way that is aligned with your highest values. And when you know that you are, don't let anyone stop you from achieving your dreams. I am deserving of the success, the final push, excitement for what's to come. Finding motivation in the face of difficulties. I push beyond my own perceived limitations and I remain open and trusting as I do. So 
to a certain degree, Pisces, okay? As you can see here, she's built this wall, okay? She's built this defense for a reason, okay? It's so like before, if you kind of used to be very trusting, okay? Very carefree, you've learned that other people are not like that, okay? You've learned that there are other people with bad intentions that are takers. And because of that, you see how the fool kind of graduates being number zero into the nine of wands. You've graduated into learning that not all people are like you, not everybody has your heart, and that there is a need to defend yourself and protect yourself um, in your accomplishments and not let the wrong kinds of people into your life because it can cause a lot of, again, stress. They can take away your peace of mind, you know, um, Ten of Cups, you're so close to your emotional fulfillment. Whatever this new beginning is, whatever this Ace of Wands is, is going to lead you to a major victory. Okay, we have a lot of Wands energy coming in. We have the Ace of Wands to the Six of Wands to the Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands, uh, and then Page of Wands coming in. There's a lot of fire coming into your energy, Pisces. You will be taking a lot of action towards your goals, right place at the right time. And it's only a matter of moving forward and not letting anything get in your way. So, Holy Spirit, any final advice for Pisces in regards to this reading? Any final advice for Pisces? We're going to pull from the Oracle and then we're going to wrap this up. Any final advice for... Okay, so these cards flip. I usually don't take cards that flip. Only if they pop out. Okay, so we have take the first step. Okay, it's all about action, perseverance. And then you need one last card. And nature. Pisces, this is all about you, okay? This is your time. Um, it's a time to focus all your energy, all your attention in yourself because taking the first step is gonna lead you to the Six of Wands, to a major victory, a major celebration. And you've had to persevere through a lot of challenges that came into your life and they were not even because of you. They were because of the people that you had around you. They were because of the betrayals, the heartbreaks, the disappointments that they brought into your life. All of that adversity, Pisces, um, Again, it's like you learn those lessons, but how many times do you have to learn the same lesson? So it's like you had to persevere through the storm, and now you're ready, Pisces. You're ready. There's always a rainbow after the storm. So it's all about taking the first step and betting on yourself and not putting yourself, um, not putting other people's needs before your own, okay? So take the first step. This is all about you. Nature. Some of you may need to step into nature to harmonize and ground yourself. Um, nature is also a very harmonic vibration to where if you feel like you're ungrounded and you're flying up in the ethers it will ground you if you feel like you're a little bit low vibe it will also absorb your energy and help you transmute it so some of you may need to get outside a little bit more uh to help transmute your energy some of you may have been having to persevere through many storms and there's a need to know that you're no longer surviving you're about to start thriving beginner don't be afraid to take the first step Throughout your life, there will be many creations you desire to bring forth. Your higher self is reaching out to ask you to be courageous uh, and leap forward in order to create a desire you hold deeply in your heart. For most, the first step into the unknown is frightening, filled with uncertainty and unpredictable variables uh, of, the, of the journey ahead. Many question if they will have the power, resources, support, and assistance to truly manifest uh, and they end up defeating themselves before they even begin. If you are enmeshed in the illusion, elusive world of fear, then the first step will appear perilous. But if you trust in the knowledge of your higher self, then this step, this step will be a joyous one. This card reveals that it is time to break free from the chains of fear and be brave. Dear spirit, have the courage to venture into the unknown since each step will move you towards your dreams. Will, will you trust her? If you're attempting to begin a new business, consider moving to a new location. Or if you're trying something outside of your comfort zone, then this card encourages you to take the risk. After taking your first step, trust that your higher self will nudge you into the appropriate following steps. Rest assured you are supported on your journey moving forward. And again, Pisces, the success is guaranteed with the Six of Wands. This is the card of uh, success. This is the card of victory. You will be attaining this achievement. Um, take the sleep of faith on yourself, Pisces. Bet on yourself. Play for your own team. Six of Wands, badass success, leadership, accomplishments, being seen, becoming an influencer, victory, optimism, inspiring others. I am worthy of the success and I am grateful that I am seen. Pisces, again, this is all about you. This is your time. And again, the main message coming in was to not repeat another lesson, to not 
to not let these kinds of people or situations pull you back into a lesson that you've already had to learn. Again, you're no longer the fool. You're no longer naive. You've achieved this mastery um, from having to go through these situations and healing through it and, and pulling yourself out of it, being stronger after the event. But there's no need to repeat lessons. This is all about you. It's about going from surviving to thriving because perseverance talks about having to navigate the unknown, the challenges, the adversities. Uh, and once you stop once you get out of this time of having to be resilient and persevering and surviving, then you can use your energy and channel your energy to thrive, to win, to succeed. So Pisces, this is all I have for your reading. Again, if you would like a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. But for now, this is all I have, Pisces. Congratulations. Blessings. Take care.